So I've decided the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. That's the best way to unite our nation. You know, there is a time and a place for long years of experience in public life. But there's also a time and a place for new voices, fresh voices, yes, younger voices. And that time and place is now. Fresh voices. The fresh voice of Cami Harris who was a political creature from the moment she left college. With her privileged background, both parents with high degrees, graduate degrees, a Howard University graduate and then Berkeley, someone who never touched poverty, who never took a segregated school bus, that never happened, someone who was political from the get-go and power-hungry from the get-go, dating powerful men from the get-go, men like Montel Williams. And then, and this is an indelicate way to say it. It's an accurate way to say it. Sexually servicing Willie Brown while he was married. And again, in pursuit of power. This is a woman who was then a, um, she was given a district attorney's job. I mean, handed to her. Given powerful commission jobs, handed to her. Married a guy who's all mobbed up in California state politics, investing in things like um, commercial prisons. As Cami Harris rose through California, became AG, she did things like lengthen the sentences of people in prison, you know, to help her husband's margins. And when she got to Washington, D.C., nothing changed. She's not a new voice. There's nothing new about Cami Harris. She's an old school I get mine first, Marxist, if that's what's popular, sort of human being. She is shrewd, she is racist, she is cold, she is calculating, she is self-serving. There's nothing in her that conveys any form of the fruit of the Spirit. And yet we're told that her whole life is based upon her Christian upbringing. Well, because half her family is Christian. Half of her primary family. That's her Christian upbringing. It's the root of who she is. Don't you know? Figurehead Biden continued. Over the next six months, I'll be focused on doing my job as president. That means I'll continue to lower costs for hardworking families, grow our economy. I'll keep defending our personal freedoms and our civil rights, from the right to vote to the right to choose. Our right, I'm sorry. Is this, wait. Are we still live? Are this still recording? I just, could you start that again? Because I just became very, very confused on something. Just start it again, and we'll take this out. If you're watching live, don't worry. I'm not having an event, a medical event. If you're listening later, and this is still in because I'm joking about taking it out, I literally cannot believe what I just heard. Let's just take this from this second video from the top. Here we go. Over the next six months, yep. I'll be focused on doing my job as president. Okay, from Delaware, in one of my homes, I'll be focused on it now because I've not been focused on it previous okay but that's not the part that means i'll continue to lower costs for hardworking families okay you're not doing that the reason food and energy have been removed from the consumer price index is because those things are continuing to go up but it's not that it's not that part it's grow our economy okay i'll keep defending our personal freedoms and our civil rights okay but not for rights for women to not have male in their prison cells to have their own scholarships, uh, to not get injected with things they don't want to be injected with. But no, that's, that's not even it. It's, it's from the right to vote to the right to... Oh, no, he didn't! The right to what? There's a convention coming up. You're spending millions and millions and millions and millions more dollars on a convention where you could nominate people of your party and have a democratic process where people could vote for the next nominee. But as Election Wizard points out on Twitter, and they're right often, Breaking, DNC moves to hold virtual nomination of Cami Harris before the August convention, blocks delegates from nominating new candidates in Chicago, despite Cami receiving zero votes. So as what appears to be a bruised, and maybe beaten, but probably just more likely bruised, figurehead 
is promising to protect the right to vote, the DNC has stolen 14 million votes and is letting more of them occur. And there are people who have fallen for this. Next week, we're going to go through the Cami Harris PSYOP and just remind all of us that nothing's changed. <laughs> it's just doing in public what they've done behind the scenes for the past many decades. Choose. I'll keep calling out hate and extremism. Make it clear there is no place, no place in America for political violence or any violence ever, period. Well, I mean, actually. Yeah, around the Liberty Bell... It's okay to drag cops and, and beat them and such. Because, you know, Israel. Well, well, and then in D.C., if it's the right side doing the violence, that's, then that's, that's okay. Well, in Portland, trying to break into a federal courthouse for a year straight, that's, we're good there, that's fine. But other than that, yes, there's no, we don't have any tolerance for the, uh, the violence. I'm going to keep, keep speaking out to protect our kids from gun violence. I will use words to protect kids from being murdered on the streets of Democrat cities by other kids in cities where cartels are being allowed to set up shop first for drug trafficking and then on the heels of that sex trafficking, which then begets wars between the Honduran cartels, Mexican cartels, and Russian cartels. But I will use words to prevent tools from killing kids. Our plan from climate crisis is the existential threat. And I will keep fighting my, for my cancer moonshot. Okay. He was given that assignment Barack, by Barack Hussein Obama. Mm -mm -mm, God bless Rush Limbaugh. He has previously contended that he cured cancer. But in the next six months, a mentally deficient, probably Parkinson's victim is going to cure cancer with his Operation Moonshot. And this is an heroic speech by a selfless man. We can end cancer as we know it because we can do it. And I'm going to call for Supreme Court reform because this is critical to our democracy. Supreme Court reform. It is critical to our democracy, democracy that the executive branch co-equal to the legislative and the judicial mess with the Supreme Court, which is a co-equal branch, to protect our democracy. I don't think that's what democracy means. You know, I will keep working to ensure America remains strong, and secure, and the leader of the free world. I'm the first president in this century to report to the American people that the United States is not at war anywhere in the world. <sighs> We are literally fighting a war in Syria. You disgusting liar. We literally have troops through NATO in Ukraine. And though they're not officially in Russia, in Russia. We have committed resources to fund both sides of a war between Israel and Hamas, and you built a $300 million dock which collapsed because our troops weren't given sufficient cover to build it correctly. And we're not at war? We'll keep rallying a coalition of proud nations to stop Putin from taking over Ukraine. But we're not at war. Doing more damage. We'll keep NATO stronger 
and I'll make it more powerful and more united in than six any months. time in all of our history. In six months. See, nothing's really changed. It's just now that they have to lie so, so vigorously and so, so obviously because the stink has just gotten to be too much.